We feel super lucky to have the best viewers on YouTube here on EMBN. In fact, you guys send us in some amazing content from all over the globe that we love sharing in our weekly shows. From the epic fails to the biggest sends to the greatest tech, and of course, where in the world and the bike vault is all some of the amazing stuff that you send in to us. So we thought it would be nice and put together a compilation of the best action on all the greatest things that you guys have sent us in during 2020. Now the bike vault is one of my favorite parts of the show, but we have so many submissions here on EMB and we unfortunately don't get a chance to show them all. But I've selected a few of my favorites through the year and I'm gonna need some help with this one. So get involved down in the comments box down below about which one takes bike of the year for you. Enjoy. Climbing on an e-bike is where it definitely excels and we have some absolutely epic climbs sent into us here on EMBN. So I've dug through the archive and selected a few of my favorites. Now kicking this one off is Neil. Now he's riding the infamous slab close to us here in EMBN down in Bristol on his Kinevo. Wow, look at that, You're going for it for sure. Now that is a big one. Now I remember riding down this slab about 20 or so years ago thinking it was pretty crazy. But then a few years later, we're riding up it on e-bikes. Mental. Now this one looks like something straight out of Steve Jones territory, but it's not as Magnus on his Trek Rail 9.8 out, uh, out in iCast in Denmark. Again, up and over a huge log pile. Great work. Now I've always seen these on the side of the trail and think I want to give it a bash, but you've definitely inspired me there, Magnus. I'm going to give it a go. Nice one. Whoa. Next one is, this is uh, Roland from Genk out in Belgium, tackling in uh, a huge spoil heap or a slag heap as we call it here in the UK. Now I think this is a great climb. Often the camera can shallow those angles out, but I can tell that is a huge slope and you are really digging deep for that one. I bet that definitely raised the heart rate up for that. Moving on to our last entry, but not least, is probably my favorite epic climb entry coming in from Christine, AKA the Squirrel Squeezer out uh, at Fins and Things out in Utah with this absolutely epic climb on the Kinevo. Now this is what I absolutely love about Utah. It just looks so amazing, the exposure. Um, you know, if you get pictures and videos from there, it always looks great. And I think the sandstone, the grip that you're gonna get from that stuff is crazy. And I think this is where you definitely can push the limits of e-bike climbing, perfectly shown here by Christine. So don't forget to get involved down in the comments box down below about which one you think is the most epic climb entry as well. Now we love watching the videos and pictures of you guys absolutely sending it on your e-mountain bikes. But unfortunately, when you're pushing those limits, sometimes it can end in tears too, and you get those fails. So I've dug through the archives, and here are some of my favorite sends and fails. First up, we've got Ian here sending this sweet no-hander on his Kinevo up at Steeply Quarry. Pretty much textbook uh, extension there and a great location. Nice. And we have Marcus has been hitting up some big jumps, but unfortunately been hitting the ground pretty hard too with this massive crash. Now that has to be one of the worst feelings ever, flying through the air with that front wheel down. Whew. Then we have Nicholas with a bit of soil testing going on in horse ends in Denmark, washing out in a turn on his Canyon Spectralon. It's those little crashes, made a bit of a noise when you crash there, so I'm thinking it hurts. It's those little crashes that can sometimes hurt more than the bigger ones. And moving on to some sends now, we've got Sam who is absolutely sending it here on his little Revy balance bike, getting some great air there, followed by his mate Ethan. I think it's great what the kids have got these days to go out riding. You know, we're gonna have some amazing riders uh, in a few years. Nice job, Sam, love that. 
Then we have Timothy, who's been out in remote Alaska on his Kinevo and had an amazing first ascent hitting a huge scree slope. Now this looks like something out of a New World Disorder movie or something. Great work there and great to see it being done on an e-bike too. Then we have Warren here on his Rocky Mountain power play sending some sweet suicide no-handers. He's out in Cody in Wyoming. That looks like a mega fun spot, nice jumps and a nice no-hander too. Then lastly, we have JJ, who's 50 years old. He's riding out in Big Bear, California on his Levo, absolutely flying in this train with his friend. He's got no footed jumps going on, wall rides and huge jumps. It doesn't get much better than that. And it's so good to see a wide range of people sending it on their e-bikes. We've got five-year-olds, we've got 50-year-olds. It is all happening out there on e-mountain e bikes. And we love seeing it here on the show, so keep it coming in. Now the part of the show that I cannot wait for sometimes is where in the world. Now this is where we go literally all over the world to see where you guys have been riding uh, your e-bikes. And we get lots of entries here and unfortunately again, we cannot show them all. So I've put together a little slideshow of some of the best. Then we're gonna go through my top 11 because I couldn't choose a top 10. Enjoy. Wow, I think you'll agree. There's some absolutely stunning shots in that collection there from where in the world. So many uh, places that you guys have been riding your e-bikes all over the world. It is so good to see. But as I mentioned, I couldn't choose a top 10 from the selection. So here's my top 11. Now kicking things off here with Andre. He's riding a Fantic XF1 up at Contamans Kloof in Cape Town. Look at that shot, so good. Then we have Nicholas here with a huge rock slab rolling. He's at a Martin's Lodge in Germany on his Focus Jam Squared. Crazy line. Then we have Chris, he's from North Yorkshire. He's a regular contributor here on EMBN. He's enjoying the e-bike life every day and he's taking his drone out for some amazing shots. I think this adds a great angle to some of these. Then we're moving on out to Romania for this shot. This is Livio riding a Mondrika Crafty R in the Busegi Mountains. Cracking view there, look at that backdrop. Then we have Sally and her husband here riding in 90 degree heat uh, with the snakes out in Paphos Forest near Demeter on a Vitus E Summit. And we have Tom been riding his custom Cube Reaction Pro hardtail on the bike route 115 going up the Col, Col des Dentes. Fantastic panoramas and that is a cracking shot. We have Tony and his wife enjoying a big 40 mile ride with 4,250 feet of climbing uh, on the ride and the Black Sail Ennerdale Lake District on their Vita Sea bikes. Nice shot, big smiles on the faces as always. Then we have a great shot here from Paul. He's out and about on his Trek Rail 9.8 riding in Glendu Bay, Wanaka, New Zealand on his first visit to his local bike park. Then we have Rich here with a very autumnal shot. He's out in Steve Jones uh, territory in the Forest of Dean with his Orbea Wild FS M20. Amazing colors in that shot, looks amazing. Then we have Mary Ann, has been out riding in Costa Rica on a 2020 Mondraker 29 at Chaser. She enjoyed a trip in Northwest Guanacaste in Costa Rica. Endless back roads to enjoy an incredible scenery and wildlife. Amazing shot there. And finishing up, I think this is one of my favorite shots ever in Where in the World. This is Stein Wigo on his Merida E160 in Troms in northern Norway. Just finished up a climb and enjoying the view in the midnight sun with my trail dog, Bjorn. That is crazy light. I think that has to be my epic shot that I'm going to select from all those entries that we've had in 2020. As I mentioned earlier, get involved. Let us know which is your favorite shot from that Where in the World section. 
We've had some amazing entries in our tech section. Now this is where you guys get busy in your workshop or maybe your garage and get all those little hacks on the go to get the most out of your e-mountain bike. Let's take a look at some of our favorites from the year. Now kicking it off, do you remember Lee's Orbear FS Wild modification? Now this is where you use some plastic piping and a few zip ties to move his Bosch Purin display down to a position pretty similar to that steps location where it's protected by the stem. Really simple hack, but love this one. And then there was Alan straight out of Alameda, California, whose son had taken some great initiative here by making a 3D print, uh, printed battery cover for his YT decoy, reducing the weight by about nine pounds by taking that battery out for transporting it. Nice little hack. And apparently even uh, started up a little mini business in the process with that one. And again, following in the manual handling mood, Vince over in Saskatoon made this very novel pulley lifting system for his e-bike to lift it into the work stand. Love this, Vince. And that only cost you $9. Nice. Now, carrying extra batteries is a constant theme for you guys. And who remembers C, who made the stainless steel down tube battery carrier for his high bike? but also included a down tube protector into the mix here. More miles, less body weight, great new inspiration there. And I'd love to see someone actually manufacturing that for, for e-bikes, that battery carrier would be the absolute dream. Now, unfortunately, mechanicals do happen out there and this is Wes, he's got a great tip. He's out riding in Dartmoor and he says about carrying some paracord in your riding kit, like to tow your mate if they get a, a motor failure out on a big ride like that little hack, you know, carrying a bit of that motor cord. It's not gonna take up a lot of space, but could save your bacon at the end of the day. Now, moving on to the last entry in tech. This is one of the finest home builds we saw last year. This came from Ben with a sleek looking Mondraker Foxy. He incorporated a Tongshen 750 watt motor with a home spec 700 watt hour battery to create this absolute beauty. Great work there and love seeing all that tech here. Well, 2020 has been an amazing year here on EMBN, and I've really loved digging through the archive and going through all that content and picking out my favorites. Love to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to get involved down in the comments box down below if you were featured or whether you were in the bike vault or what your favorite bike or shot was throughout this whole collection. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and give us a follow on social media too. Thanks for watching. See you soon.